In this video, we are going to see BitQuery's Jupyter API to get data on Jupyter swaps. All the API links will be in the description so that you can try them out yourself. I will also put the BitQuery Telegram channel link. If you have any questions, you can ask them there. To test the APIs, you need to register on id.bitquery.io first. I have already done that, so I am going to directly jump into the API examples. We will get the data on Jupyter swaps happening on Solana in real time. To be precise, we will get the tokens involved both the account addresses and also all the accounts and indexes involved in swapping. As Jupyter is an aggregator, it finds the best suited route for swapping for the best prices so many accounts and indexes can be involved. Now let's start. Firstly select EAP. EAP is our early access program. It currently only provides real-time data. So to get details on Jupyter swaps, we firstly need to know which method of Jupyter aggregator is responsible for these swaps. So to know that, we will analyze a Jupyter swap transaction on SoulScan. So this is the swap transaction on Jupyter aggregator v6. So we will click on this downward arrow to see the instruction involved. So now we know the instruction is named as shared accounts route, but we still don't know what is its name in the BitQuery database. The cases might be different or the name altogether might be different. So now we will write an API to get all the methods of the Jupyter program. To get all methods of Jupyter program, select Solana, then instructions, and then we need to specify Jupyter program address in the filter. To do that, use where condition and select this where and then instruction, then program and then address and specify it in this. We need to put Jupyter aggregator v6 address in here as we want to know all of its methods. And now we select the parameters we need info about. So we need program methods. So we will select instruction, then program and then method. And then we will click on count to group the same methods. And now we run this query. You can see different methods. Here we found the same method, shared accounts route. So now we write an API to get the real time Jupyter swaps data. Select Solana, then instructions, and then specify program address in where condition and also the program method. Because this is the program method which is responsible for the swaps. Paste it in here. And then select parameters you need info on. Select transaction signature and then also instruction and under that accounts and under that address is writable and also token details and select program then account names and now change this query keyword to subscription. Now run this WebSocket. Stop the query after you get some data as we don't want to exhaust our points. So this is the accounts array which consists of all of the addresses involved in the swap. Now let's analyze the result. These are the account names. So these are 13 account names corresponding to the first 13 addresses and from 14th onward the addresses are the accounts which are involved in the swap because it's a shared route. As I told you earlier Jupyter is an aggregator and chooses the best possible route to swap our tokens. So second address is the account which has the token B and third address is the account which has the token A initially. Eighth and ninth are the addresses of the token A and B respectively. 